Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I've done an educational haul here on my channel, and so today I'm going to do just that. Today I have a big order from Paper Pie, which was formerly Usborne Books and More, um, but Paper Pie or Usborne acquired Smart Lab Toys, which is a really neat company that we already really enjoyed, as well as officially acquiring Learning Wrap Ups, um, which they had some of their products before as well, but now they have all of them exclusively. So we, I had a big credit, I put in a big order, I've got some educational activities, some fun science things that I thought I would give my kids on our last day of school for them to enjoy this summer, some fun like STEM activities, which you guys know are my favorite, um, some books for babies, some books for my elementary kids, and just some fun activities. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera around and show you everything I grabbed. There were a few things that I grabbed for Easter, um, and by the time this video goes up, it will be after Easter, so sorry about that, but keep it in mind for next year. <laughs> and as always, I will put a link below to my Paper Pie site if you guys are interested in checking out any of the resources that I have shared today. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm gonna jump right into it with some of these tiny STEM and STEAM kits. These are from Smart Lab and I could not resist. So I got a bunch of these. Some of them I actually grabbed doubles of because I thought these would be perfect for the preteen and young teens that we often buy birthday gifts for. So I wanted to just have a bunch of these on hand for birthday gifts. I love having a big bin of birthday gift options. It usually always saves us a trip to the store. So I grabbed tiny art, tiny ice cream, tiny solar system, tiny gardening, a few tiny gardenings actually for my kids' Easter baskets, um, tiny baking. There were so many options and they are just so cute. You gotta check these out on the website because they're just so fun. So it comes with some science help and info in it and then just some teeny tiny pieces to have some steam fun. Next, I grabbed a couple of these lip balm boutiques. This is another item from Smart Lab Toys. This is an all natural beeswax kit and it comes with everything you need to make these. I grabbed a couple of these as well. I thought this would be really sweet for some of Annie's friends and some of Bella's friends. The next STEM activity I got for my kids is this Storm Watcher Weather Lab. We have some pretty incredible summer storms here in Florida and I don't know if any of you remember that we had a tornado it was thankfully just an ef zero um, but it did cause enough damage at our house to have really terrified the kids and so this was back in the fall so as summer weather is approaching we have been studying storm in the night and watching all sorts of storm documentaries um, it's kind of given my kids some comfort heading into storm season even though it seems counterintuitive um, so i thought this kit would be really neat for them then I also grabbed them this outdoor science lab, which I thought was a really neat 
thing for them to have on any sort of I'm bored type of days here at the house this summer. We are gonna be taking a bit of a longer summer than we typically do, so I wanted to have some cool things on hand. I also grabbed this organic science lab with 30 organic chemistry activities. This I grabbed for Isabella. I thought she would really get a kick out of this. She has been doing chemistry and physics, and so I thought that this would be something neat for her to kind of do with maybe Jesse or Eli this summer. And then one thing that didn't make the original recording and then I found it afterward because it was being played with by the kids is the squishy human body with 21 removable body parts. This is a really neat uh, item just to have on hand anytime you're studying anatomy or the kids are just interested in general. So this is a super cool toy. All right, now we're gonna move on to some books and activity books and you guys know the drill. All right, if you've been around here for a while, then you know we love these reusable sticker books. So we've got the Time to Brush one, and we've got the Little Bear Needs Glasses, and the All Better, where you stick down Band-Aids on the different animals in the story. So I, of course, had to grab Hats Off, which is a great one about hats. So the kids um, will read this with Annie, or soon enough, Josephine will be ready for this. And we love these reusable sticker books. You just take these vinyl sticker pieces, these little plastic pieces, I guess, and just rinse them off if they ever lose their stickiness and they stick right back onto the book. So grab this one to add to our collection. Next, I added some Look Inside Lift the Flat books. You guys know I love these Lift the Flat books. So I got the Volcanoes and Earthquakes book. Can never have too many of these Lift the Flaps in our house. So anytime I see a new one or one that we don't have, I grab it for our collection. I grabbed a few more of the Usborne Beginner Nature Books. So I got Coral Reefs, Caterpillars, and Butterflies. Now, my kids are super into butterflies and they have been for about a year now. And with living at the ocean, I thought Coral Reefs was a good one to add to our collection. Again, it's just amazing and you can never have too many of these type of nonfiction books, no matter what reading level. I find that especially when kids come over to our house and they start looking at our books, no matter how old they are, they love books in general. Uh, then I grabbed some of these Osborne Life Cycle books, which I thought were really fun. So this one is The Life Cycle of Trees. And then we have The Life Cycle of the Butterfly. Again, you never have too many butterfly resources when it's a really big interest in the house. And last, I grabbed the life cycle of the frog, which hopefully we will have an opportunity this summer to do some nature journaling of that. After these storms, I'm hoping we find some tadpoles around somewhere. The next book I grabbed is a fun one, Lift the Flap Mental Math. Again, I love Lift the Flap books and I especially love the Usborne Lift the Flap books because they have so many for older kids and I mean, I'm not gonna lie, like these are fun for me too. I can sit here and do these with my older kids and just have a good time. So this one's talking about number bonds. Tons and tons of flaps to lift. Like the whole page is just basically filled with different flaps to lift. They're just so bright and colorful and inviting and yet some of these books really are for older subjects such as um, the periodic table, there's some division, fraction lift the flap books, and then fun preschool shapes and color books. So tons of lift the flaps. I promise if you check them out on the website, you're well, maybe you shouldn't. If, you, if you're intrigued, maybe don't because there are so many that catch my attention every time I'm on the website.
Next we have, surprise, surprise, another Lift the Flap. This one is a Lift the Flap questions and answers about money. So it's talking about the story of money, managing money, good deals, bad deals, and everything else in between. So another great Lift the Flap to add to our collection. And then we have lift the flap questions and answers about germs. I thought this would be a really fun one, again, just because we do have a lot of questions and answers about germs going on here in our house on a regular basis. So I thought this would be a fun resource to have on the shelf for all of the kids. I also grabbed Explore America's Wildlife and Explore America's National Parks. My kids' interests have really been piqued after we took a big trip out west this winter and we went to five different national parks, so I thought it'd be really cool to start looking into other national parks that they might be interested in because they really want to add to those uh, collection of badges that they've got going on. And then this is a really neat book as well, all about the different wildlife in America. I love having books like this on hand for summer learning because where I might not be doing a unit study or, you know, assign these books as readers during school, just having books like this to grab off the shelf and look at on a rainy day or when I have, you know, um, drop everything and read time for the kids in the summertime, these are great books for them to grab and just have on hand. So I love this understanding series and anytime I see a new one, I add this to that shelf. We have a bookshelf full of them and so I thought that it would be a really good one to add mathematics to our shelf. And then these 365 books are really neat. So this one is 365 cool ways to remember stuff. There's also like 365 words and 300, 365 phrases. There's a few of these different 365 books and these may be a little unconventional, but I like pulling these out during poetry tea time. We don't just do poetry during our poetry tea time. We kind of bring out some fun riddles and interesting fact kind of books. And so that's exactly what this is. It's a neat fact type of a book. And then I added some more shine -a light books to our collection because again, you can never have too many of these. And some of these books that I'm showing that we've invested in collections over the years, I plan to keep for our one day grandkids just because I love the quality and just how interactive these books are. You know, books never go out of style. Making learning fun never goes out of style. And just the different books that Osborne has, the quality of the books, um, Osborne and Kane Miller, and the way that they're interactive and just inviting, I like to have these books on hand. And not even just for my own kids and one day grandchildren, um, but also for my friends' kids when they come over. Books get borrowed frequently here at our house and, um, you know, just fun. I like to have these things on hand. I would much rather kids come over and start looking at books and start interacting with workbooks um, than grabbing the remote or a video game. And I'm super thankful that that's exactly what happens when my friend's kids come over.
So I mentioned having a box of birthday party goodies and I also wanted to have a few things on hand for baby showers. We have had a new little baby boom in my little friend circle. Even one of them is having triplets, which is so fun. I mean, you know, to watch. <laughs> um, I know they're excited, but it's a lot. But anyway, um, I, I really wanted to have some fun baby gifts on hand to throw in with some diapers. And these books were super cute. I could not resist. They're like little stuffed animals but also books so baby can play with them and also they can be read and they've got little like um, teething rings and things on them. So I just thought they were super cute and fun to gift. Like you think it would be a cute little bow on top of a uh, wrapped box of diapers or something. So I grabbed a few of these. And then I also got this Easter sounds book for Josephine. And like I mentioned, a couple of these I got for Easter um, and already gifted these to my kids because I actually got this shipment over a month ago. I just hadn't had time to sit down and make this video. So I love the Osborne sound books because they're not <laughs> aggressively loud. They're actually kind of peaceful, if that can be said. And I also got this Up in the Sky big flat book to start training my baby to love lots of flat books as much as I do. So I thought this was really cute and I love just nature themed books. I got a few of these little board books that were just some nursery rhymes or songs we sing. So I got Old MacDonald Had a Farm, Rain Rain Go Away, There Were Ten in the Bed, and I think it was Ten Little Ducks, is that what it is? It's behind the book so I can't see it right now. It is, yes, Five Little Ducks, okay. So these were fun, I thought, because they're also easy to kind of memorize and I have a six-year-old who's not the strongest reader yet and she loves to sit and play with the baby so I thought it'd be fun for her to read these and sing them along with her and here's another baby lift the flap uh, and a bedtime book so you're combining my two loves of lift the flap books and bedtime books we actually have a whole little mini shelf uh, by our rocking chair that's just full of bedtime books because I love a good bedtime story so I wanted to add that one as well and then there were these neat things I had never seen before called My First Tag Puzzle Books. And so there's the farm and dinosaurs. And these are not going to just be for us. I thought these would be great gifts for toddlers. So I wanted to add these to our little birthday. We have a lot of summer birthdays in our friend circle. So I wanted to add these to that collection. And these are just little uh, one puzzle on each page. And then the little puzzle pieces have a little tag that are attached to them so a baby can grab them and pull it. I also grabbed these Learn to Lace books, which I thought would be fun because probably not this term coming up, but the second term, I wanted to start working on some embroidery with my kids. I'm still trying to learn it myself, but then I thought these lacing books would be a great way for Annabeth to participate in that handcraft with us. This little interactive fishing book, same deal. I wanted to have this on hand to gift or just to have for some fun learning as Josephine gets a little bit older. And last but not least are the activity books. So here's another Easter one that I wanted to save for next year. So this is the Easter things to make and do. So it's got some craft activities, but also some interactive pages. So it's kind of consumable, um, kind of not, <laughs> if that makes sense. And then um, I also got a few other activity books. So I got some wipe clean nature activity books. We actually already had these, but they get borrowed often, and so never, you can never have too many. Um, I also got Wipe Clean Easter activities, which this one went to Annabeth already, so she's already got that one. These are just such great books because you can wipe them clean and use them again and again. And I have quite a stack of these, and we've actually had some of them gifted to us before I was even with Osborne or Paper Pie years ago. Uh, when we started preschool, these were gifted to us from a friend who used these for her kids. And um, she just swore by them and gave them to us. And so we started our homeschooling journey with a little collection of them already. And then um, 
I got these little Missing Bits sticker books. So we've got Missing Bits Garden and they just have some, um, some images on each page that are kind of lighter in color than the other images. So you can go ahead and stick a sticker on and fill in the missing bits. So I got Missing Bits Garden, Missing Bits Ocean, and Missing Bits Jungle. And that is that. That is my summer of fun learning haul. Um, if you guys would like any more information on any of these books, you can leave a comment or check out the description box down below. I'd be happy to help. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.